Well, shit, this is a bigger audience than what I had in Brisbane. <laughs> Zealand government's intention to reach carbon net zero by 2050 is supported by many in the industry, but this plan comes with wise caution from leaders in our industry. Concerns are that the changes in costs may affect small business profitability. Industry leaders believe that there is a need to invest in research to develop alternative technologies and fuels to enable growers to remain viable fruit and vegetable producers. On that note, we need to look at the rate in which technology has advanced over the last 30 years. We have evolved a variety of the tools of the trade into smaller, smarter versions of the original. I would like to think, imagine having a robot made specifically to harvest your crop. Oh wait, that's already been thought of. And Progress has been made to get these into our industry. So, this still leaves me with the question, where do I think this technology will be by 2050? I would like to think these machines will have advanced dramatically and incorporate solar panels to power their operation. Yes, the sun, it's a great source with low cost, readily available energy or power, which means zero emissions and would result in a major reduction of our carbon footprint. This artificial intelligence would be able to harvest your crop according to critical specifications you have supplied to the machine through a computer or even an app on your smartphone. The inclusion of this aspect is possible as the artificial intelligence is already available and accessible to us in the spectrum program used by packhouses right now, right here in our industry. I would like to see this further developed in a way that included a function that could also assess the fruit by looking at colour, size and for any defects that may preclude it from export and then by picking this fruit accordingly. By embracing this technology, the grower would incur less labour costs, which over time will offset the initial cost of the machine. Cutting the cost of labour during the harvest season would be a benefit to a grower in the long run. The minimum wage is continuing to rise and the greatest impact will be felt by the smaller businesses in our industry. Ongoing costs would be in maintaining the machine and the operator to ensure ongoing reliability and efficiency through the process. Another positive step to embracing this technology would be the ability to avoid the shortage of seasonal labour during harvest. Growers factor in the labour cost of harvest but face shortages at peak times which can drive the cost of labour higher and the knock-on effect is that it is sometimes not economical to harvest at all. Now, every small business owner in this room will be thinking about their back pocket, their profits their liabilities and the huge cost involved in introducing this type of technology into their operation. Yes, there is a huge initial cost outlay to have technology such as this, but we as an industry need to move forward and help each other to make this happen. I'll leave you with the following to think about. Imagine where you would be in your industry today if our forebears hadn't embraced mechanisation and refrigeration. <laughs>